Okay, here, so here's a demo game of Barking Up the Wrong Tree. Just a quick setup. Along the top edge you've got the tree discs. You start with three discs in the first round, then four, five, six, seven, five rounds in all. Down the left hand side the cat markers, which will go in the trees. Each player is given one cat at the beginning of the first round and is dealt three cards. From there we go into the game itself. So here's the first round of the game. The three trees are out. Each player's got four cards. And player one decides that he's going to play his boxer onto the spruce tree. A player two would like to challenge for that, so he decides to play two Irish setters against the same spruce tree. He's got to play the same type of card, same breed of card. A well, player one doesn't like that challenge, so he decides he'll play his cat. Takes his cat card, draws another card immediately, and takes the cat marker, places it onto the tree of his choice. He's placing it there on the spruce tree. So now he can play different breeds of dog onto there. Player one decides to play onto there his Alsatian. And will he play the Husky as well? I think he will. Try and make sure of it. So he's got three, and the Irish setters are only two. And also, the highest ranked card is a three from the boxer, so difficult for player two to beat that. Player two decides to play his Dachshund against the palm tree. That leaves player one with a crossbreed. And he decides he could use that as a wild card later in the game, but decides he's going to discard it. Takes another card to replace it. It's a Great Dane, and he decides to play the Great Dane against the Willow Tree. Well, player two thinks, okay, that'll do, and decides to keep his cat card till the next round. Now, sort out the trees. This was won by player one, the Willow, and so was the Spruce. Maybe it's there. And player two just got the palm tree there. So, these all get cleared up and we're ready to start round two of the game. Well, you get four trees out. Now we've got an oak, another spruce, an olive, and a baobab. Get four more cards and away we go to the next round. Now I'm going to carry on playing it. I'm going to try and show you the fifth and final round in a few minutes' time. Right, now here we are in uh, round five, and as you can see, things have hotted up. We now have seven trees out, and as it happens, each player has also won seven different types of tree. Player two, however, has got uh, additional trees uh, of cherry, olive, and spruce, so he's actually leading at the moment. Uh, I'm not showing you what cards they've got, because there's not enough room to show you that, so I'm just going to play the cards out very quickly. Uh, just to say, though, that uh, the player one is going first, which can be helpful. And also, he's got two cat cards, whereas player two's only got the one. So let's see what happens. Here we go. Uh, so player one's got to go. Uh, mm, it's trees. Hang on, hang on. Olive, olive, olive. Right, okay. Blimey. He hasn't got a eucalyptus. He's going for the eucalyptus straight away. He puts two Jack Russell Terriers on there. Player two comes back in now. Player two's already got eucalyptus, but here he's going to... He's going for the jugular. He's going to try and thwart player one by playing his three chihuahuas on there. Player one rising to the challenge manfully or catfully plays a cat card and puts the marker onto the eucalyptus draws a card to replace it. It's another ooh, it's another Jack Russell Terrier. And unfortunately he can't play that Jack Russell Terrier because there's already Jack Russell's there. So he's, he's got to go deep, he's got to find something else. Uh, okay it's the old English sheepdog, the Irish setter and the Dachshund is going to go for it. It's putting it's a lot of cards, isn't it? It's a big sacrifice on cards. Uh, play. He's going for two of them. He's not playing. He's not. He's going to. He's going to go with that. He's leading four versus three. He's got a, a two rank card. That's pretty good. As it happens, player two doesn't have anything higher than a two. Player two oh, is looking for his options now. What's he missing? He's got the palm, he's got the, he hasn't got the eye. He's going to go for the eye. He's going to go for the eye, and he's going to play a crossbreed with it. Now that's acting as a wild card, so he's now got the old English sheepdog. You saw that was there. So that's a two. That's two cards there. I think player one is going to let that go. He ain't got time to beat that one. He's looking for his seconds now, so he, he 
if he gets a spruce, it's worth two points. Yeah, and that's okay. I think he might go for that. What's he going to go with? He's just going to go with one boxer. He takes a chance. Just go with a one boxer. He does have some crossbreeds here. Player two. Player two. He's going to play. I'm going to go for a palm tree. Just don't want to. You know, player one's got to make some impact now. Okay, he's coming against that palm. He's not going to. He's going to play a crossbreed himself. It's another Jack Russell Terrier. Played with a crossbreed. He's now leading on that tree. Player two has got to make a decision. He's got. To, he's still got a cat left. Does he want to challenge on that? He's got to play that cat at some point. Three cards. Not easy. He hasn't got a maple. What's he doing? He hasn't got a maple. He's going to play a French Poodle and he's going to go for the maple. Now, is player one, you can see each other's cards, by the, each other's trees, by the way, so he knows that maple's important. And he, yeah, he's going to go for it. He's got a crossbreed and he's got an Irish setter. He takes it on there. Time for the last cat from player two. So he, he discards a card, takes one. What's he got? So another Jack Russell Terrier. That'll do. Put some marker on. He goes in there. Now this player player one has got one cat card left. He's just going to discard that and take a card and see what he's got. It's a Dachshund. The Dachshund will allow him to beat on that tree. I think he's going to go for it. He's going to go for that tree. He knows that maple's important. Right. Time's up. Those two, the two olives, they're not going to be played. Nobody's gone for those. They've gone. The boxer wins the second spruce tree, that's worth two points. Player two gets his eye. This card's come, eye tree comes from Brazil by the way. Uh, player one wins a palm tree, a second palm tree. There's a gun. Now the big ones. This one goes to player one and the eucalyptus, he needed that. Those cards again. And now this last maple. He deprives player two of the maple. The cards are gone. Let's see what the final scores are. So each tree, each first tree scores three, and the second in the set scores another two. So that's five, ten, thirteen, eighteen, twenty-one. Twenty comes my counter. Twenty-six, twenty-nine, thirty-two, I think. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. 20, 25, 30. By my calculations, it's a win for player one. Game over.